What is up guys, it's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I wanted to do a simple little video on some Apple earbuds. Now you're saying, why are we doing Apple earbuds? Well, if you wanted to go buy out a replacement set for your Apple device, you're gonna need a lightning jack for most devices. And you want to buy a replacement set of wired earbuds. Some people might like that compared to the wireless, just for certain things. Um, I found a good pair called the Palview, and I wanted to bring them to you guys. I think they are definitely an improvement over the stock pair that you would get with your Apple device, even though with the new phones, you're not even getting a pair of headphones. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. But with these Palviews, I think they are a, an upgrade, and let's talk about it, guys. So I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. Please like, subscribe, and share, guys. Just try to bring you guys honest little review videos on various tech guys, maybe tutorials as well on how to do things. Uh, so if you like those types of video, review videos, tutorials uh, on tech and all kinds of uh, item reviews, please tune into my channel guys. Just try to do an honest review, buy all the products myself, do all the research, and then I try to bring it to you guys as simple as possible. So thank you guys so much. If you like those types of videos, please like, subscribe, and share, and continue to like my videos, guys, so I can bring you more, guys. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into the video on these PAL views. So first, guys, I will talk about the Apple. We, they've been out there for a long time. You know the old-fashioned Apple wired earbuds. Now you can see I literally just set these down and they are already tangled, okay? So you see how easy those tangle, which has always been a negative in my opinion on these. Uh, you just set them down and they get all tangled. So it just took me a second to detangle these and I literally just like put them like this and set them down and they got all tangled. So that is one negative on these. Also, I've never been a big fan of uh, the sound profile on these they do sound good but i've never been a fan of the sound profile they're very very high they're great for watching videos actually uh, but musically sometimes mu certain songs do not sound right and this is just because they sit in the they sit in your ear and they don't really block any sound i have these in my ears right now and they're not blocking out any sound whatsoever so you're hearing everything ambient right now i can hear what's going on i can hear um you know, my uh, fridge working upstairs. I can hear some little noise by my humidifier over here. So, you know, there's no sound blockage. Even with music on, I could probably still hear that. Now, I will say that these do get very, very loud. There's got really good volume, volume uh, really good headroom on these. You can really turn them up. And that's one way you can block sound. But then, you know, they're super loud. You don't need to turn them up that loud. Uh, so you don't want to damage your ear, your hearing in the future, that type of thing. Um, so those are kind of some negatives on these that I've always had. Now, positives is the microphone is fantastic. I have always loved these for a microphone. I've always loved to make phone calls with these. I do like that it says left and right on the actual earbuds themselves, just so you know which one goes in, which one uh, goes out into which side ear, that type of thing. So I always love that about these. Um, of course, I liked the lightning adapter, so you wouldn't have to buy a dongle. Uh, you wouldn't have to have the little adapter for a 3.5 millimeter jack, so I do like when they just plug right into your phone and there's no need for extra accessories, so I've always liked that as well. Sound profile like on these, like I said, lots of volume, guys, but lots of mid-range as well. The mid-range is always pushed out right in your face, very loud. You also got a lot more highs, so you know I, I would say mid-range, highs, and then your lows kind of come in. Good tones uh, with certain songs, but not all songs sound really good on these, but lots of volume. So that's kind of what I think. I've always liked the microphone on these, and I've always liked you know volume control, that kind of thing is always fantastic. Uh, so there's some positives. Um, solid pair for what you get. I mean, you get them, you used to get them free with whatever phone you bought, so it was a solid pair of earbuds, wired earbuds, for you to have, okay? So, like I said, I've always wanted to upgrade that, find something that was a little bit better, and I think I found that in these PAL views. Um, they are right here. 
They are right here, guys. Um, they do come in a couple different colors. They'll come in black, uh, metallic black, and then red. Um, so they are right here. But you can notice that they are, uh, they have a little ear tips. So they will go into your ear and seal up a little bit better. So I think that's one fantastic thing about these earbuds, guys. Um, they come with some accessories. We'll get into that. So you can kind of see the headphones here. And they do have a lightning jack, which is nice. That's why you don't need any accessories because there's a lot of earbuds out there. But this was one selling point is having the lightning jack and this can plug right into your phone. No need for any kind of dongles or accessories. So I'm going to show you the box right here, guys. This is where they're going to come in right here. Nothing fantastic. Uh, it's the PAL view right there. And it does say it's for iPhone, iPad, iPod. They do work with... Uh, the iPhone 12, everything, I have a mini, so it's been working with that. It goes all the way back to the iPhone 5S and SE. Um, so it definitely works with a lot of different phones, guys. Uh, so there's the box there. It does come with a cool little pouch. will come with three sets of ear tips, uh, which is nice. So you'll have your you know small, medium, and large tips in there. Very, very nice. I actually like these because they're uh, I, I can't really see give you guys a super view, but they're very wide and that's going to put a good seal in your ear. And I also like the middles are very thick. Usually they're like super thin on some I've gotten and that thinness doesn't really hold that music in there. And so, um, you know, having something really wide and thick in the middle is just going to give you a good solid sound profile um, when it comes to having these in your ear. So very, very, very good tips. Probably some of the best I've gotten with earbuds or even wireless earbuds that I've purchased. So very, very nice there. Uh, and then when it comes to the actual headphones themselves, they're kind of their selling point is their F1 dynamic drivers in them, uh, which are very, very good. I don't know if there's any, uh, thing really different out there, but, uh, that's what they look like right there. They do have a microphone, inline microphone as well, uh, with volume control, and then they actually have a button there for some call uh, features that you can have in there. Will come with a clip as well. Uh, I don't use the clip well, but it's nice to have an as, a, as an accessory. And of course, your lightning jack right there. So it'll just plug right into your phone there. So when you used to get these um, with the apples, you know, they would come in a little uh, case like this and you might get an extra dongle, that type of thing, but they'd never ever change these. Um, one thing, um, so here's another set, you know, I definitely have, a, these probably are the 3.5 millimeter jack, which they are. Um, so no matter what they've had besides changing the lightning uh, to a, the 3.5 to a lightning, they've never really changed the Apple earbuds the wired at least. I wish they would make a pair of Apple earbuds just like this with the wires in them. Why can't they do it? Why can't they upgrade them just a little bit? That way you could get a nice little seal in your ear and have the lightning jack because there's just some people out there that still want a wired connection. I'm that physical kind of person that wants a wired connection sometimes. I want that physical copy of a game. I want that disc to put in my PlayStation 4. I want that disc to put in my Xbox. I want uh, that disc uh, to put into my Blu-ray player or DVD player. I want that physical copy. I want that vinyl. I don't want that digital download, you know? So there's people out there that still want these types of things. Um, so I wish they would just, Apple would go ahead and just upgrade their uh, wired uh, earbuds. It would be nice or offer a package again when you bought a phone that they do come with a maybe the wireless earbuds. Why can't they put a phone package together that comes with the phone and the wireless earbuds together or start putting wired earbuds but improve them just a little bit for your new technology. I just wish they would do that so you wouldn't have to go and buy an aftermarket. But I did find this aftermarket and we're going to continue to talk about it. So. Like I said, I showed you most things on there, uh, but the improvements, guys, like I said, having a sealed um, ear tip in there is going to improve your sound, guys. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys really quick, quick samples of the microphone and you guys can probably tell me which one sounds better to you but I will do quick samples with the Apple and then with the PalView and then we'll go in for positives and negatives and wrap this video what up. up guys this is DJ Martini Midwest DJ Martini Midwest reviews doing a mic check test with the regular average run-of-the-mill Apple pods that go in your ears that you will get stock when you buy an Apple phone. Doing a test right now on the sound test with the microphone. This would the same quality you would get if you were making a phone call. So just letting you know, showing you right here, sound test. What is up guys? This is DJ Martini Midwest coming at you with my second sound test. This is with the PalView earbuds and giving you a sound test, seeing if they sound as good as the stock Apple uh, earbuds that you would get uh, one thing I do notice is the sound isolation on these much better than the apples uh, because it's a little harder to hear my voice uh, also I'm probably speaking louder than I would with the Apple uh, earbuds in so tell me what you guys think which one sounds better but this is a sound test using the microphone same quality you'd get if you made a phone call as well with the Palvo earbuds thank you all right guys so we are back Hope you guys enjoyed the microphone tests and let's continue on the positives and negatives on both of these. So we're going to start with the Apple. So positives with the Apple is the microphone was always fantastic. Like I said, I loved, uh, I make a lot of phone calls, so I love to plug the microphone into my phone or, you know, with the lightning and have the earbuds, the phone, they can hear the call, they can hear me very well always very very good uh, the cord is a little bit longer I think it's like 4.5 feet um, so very very nice there I like that it says left and right on each one and the sound profile with the mid-range very very great for videos uh, music uh, is okay um, with the lots of mid-range uh, treble and then good tones but the bass is definitely on the lack side compared to these Palvos. So that's kind of the overall general review on the apples. Also a negative with the apples is the way they tangle consistently uh, when I put them away or try to put them somewhere. So very, very tangle um, mess sometimes. Other than that, you know, pretty solid stock pair of uh, earbuds when it, talking about getting them free with your phone. Now we go to the Pal Views, guys. Positives on the Pal Views. Um, Let's start with the sound profile guys automatically. They do provide a nice ambient blocking ear tip in your ears. The very, very nice seal guys. So that way it's gonna block out ambient sounds naturally and you're gonna be able to really consistently hear that music. You're not gonna have to turn it up as loud like you would with the uh, Apple earbuds. Uh, you're going to you know, keep those volumes down. It's also gonna provide a very good seal in your ear so you're going to hear a lot more sounds in your music. Uh, so that's very, very nice as well. You're going to get a really good sound profile. Uh, I wouldn't say that these sound profile on the Pal Views is warm, but a lot more bass tones, guys. I would say it's pretty flat, actually. Uh, you have really good bass, really good treble, and really good highs. It's all there. Nothing sticks out to me as much. Everything is definitely there. Uh, but very, very good bass tones. I would lean to say it's a little bit of a warmer headphone, but um, I wouldn't quite call it that. But they have really good bass tones in it. So very good seal, which provides a good sound. And it was really enjoyable to listen to music on the PAL views. Now let's go to the microphone. The microphone on the Apple and the PAL views, very, very similar, guys. It's going to be up to you guys. You guys let me know which one you think sounds better. I think they're super close. Uh, so they're both right there when it comes to that. Uh, you do get some nice accessories with the little clip, with the extra button for ca some call features uh, within the PAL views. So very, very nice there. The cord is a little bit shorter, which is a negative on the PAL views. Um, just a little bit shorter, nothing crazy. I mean, I want to say the apples are 4.5 and the PAL views are 4.3. So you're ne almost not going to notice, but just a little bit of extra is nice on the apples. And then guys, um, like I said, you're just going to get a good seal. The tangle free um, aspect of the PAL views is nice. It's not completely tangle free, but 
it's, it is easier to detangle the panel views compared to the apples uh, most of the time. So that is a nice feature as well. Um, really good sound profile on the PAL views. I, I can't express that enough that you know you get a good sound profile uh, compared to the apples which you really have to turn up sometimes uh, for a good sound if you're in crowded areas and that type of thing so you know depending on what you want to listen to you guys. Other than that guys I would definitely recommend the PAL views if you're looking for a replacement for you don't want to get an apple side um, regular earbuds anymore you want to kind of upgrade a little bit this is definitely an upgrade with the ear tips which is going to provide some ambient sound blocking uh, just naturally uh, the magnetic tips keeps them from tangling up as much they will tangle but just not as much guys the sound profile is nice nice and flat uh, maybe a hint hint warm but uh, a nice good sound profile good for listening to music and still pretty decent for watching videos as well and price point it is $23 guys but you can find them on Amazon warehouse deal for around 16 a stock pair of apples will cost you 12 to 13 so it's only three dollars more and I really think that is an improvement now if you bought them brand new they will be $24 I think they're uh, 20 yeah $24.99 but uh, like I said, usually there is an Amazon, some kind of warehouse deal or something like that on them. So I still think that's a pretty good value. Even at $24, I, I, I would definitely spend that. For the upgrades, it really is going to change your mind when you have them sealed in your ear and you're listening to music. You'll be able to hear more detail and you know good tones overall uh, and a nice uh, profile, sound profile there. So guys... Um, definitely worth it at $24. Like I said, if you like a physical connection, if you like hooking it into your phone and you know you're going to get good quality when you're using the phone, making phone calls, all that kind of stuff, it's definitely worth a peace of mind uh, at $24. But like I said, you can get it cheaper. And if you do get it cheaper, just a couple more dollars than a stock pair of Apple headphones, I think it definitely is worth it uh, for your listening enjoyment. All right, guys, I think that's all I got for you guys. Uh, if you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comments. I will leave the links for the items if you guys are interested, including if you need a replacement Apple set. I will put that in there as well, guys. If you want to upgrade a little bit to the Palvos or Palview, I will leave that in there as well, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, guys. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you guys like review videos, tune into my channel. Thank you guys so much, and we'll talk to you guys later.